Hi everyone, so I'm going to be doing an example um, on uh, use states. So let's do the first example. I'm going to create a the first example. Let me just um, create something on my desktop. I will just make a few different examples, but I guess I'll make the first one uh, just a use state example. This way I can keep all of the code organized and separate. Okay, so let's go through the first example. I'm going to be um, making a use state example. So let me first get a new terminal here. I'm going to make sure that this application runs so it works. npm run dev. And I'll go to localhost 3000. And we can see right here that we have Next.js set up for us. So now we can um, keep on coding. So what I'm going to be doing here now is I'm going to set up a brand new folder inside pages. So inside the pages, this is where our main application will be. And it is, it is the index.js where you just saw what was on the screen. Um, this is the main template that is given to you. But we want to actually create separate pages for each example, so then it's easier for you to reference these different mini examples. So inside pages, I'm going to make a new folder, and I'll call it use states. And I'll just make example one here. And what I'm going to be doing here now in this example one, I'm going to go over the first use state example, is whenever we have use states, we have to import the use states. And it's going to be from React. And then we want to do export. We want to set up the um, basic template right now. and just return whatever we need to return and put a default template for div and we want to set up the use state right here above the return and still inside this function example one and what I'm gonna do is set up this use state of const number set number and I'm going to make that equal to use state. And this value here inside these brackets are, what are whatever the initial um, stages you want it to be at or whatever you want it to be initially at. And I'm going to put it at the value of zero. So initially when it starts, it'll be zero. And in order to actually see what is going on in this use state, we have to use this number value right here or this um, variable number we don't use the set number because this is what we use to change the number but using this left the left side of the use state here on um, the first word here which is number we can actually add it right here in this in between the div area here and inside this return we can write in curly brace brackets, just write number. 
And when we have this, it will show whatever number value is stored inside this use state. And since we're not using the set number part yet, um, it's just going to be whatever the default number is, which is what we set up here in the use state, which should be zero. So if I save this and I go back to the browser and we take a look here in the browser and we go to forward slash use state. Um, I believe it's use states. Okay. Okay, so it is called use states. And then forward slash example one, I believe, like this. Let me just double check here. Example um, with the number one. And you can see right here on the browser, since we didn't do anything special right now, at the top left here, you'll see the value of zero because that is what we have set up um, on in our code for example one it's just grabbing whatever the default value is